What's up guys, JPR Tech here and today I'm going to be showing you how to declick your Pentax 50mm f1.4 lens, the K-mount version. Now declicking is very important for videographers because you would not want this sound when you're shooting video. Of course, for photography, this is very important to set your aperture and have a nice click tactile feel, but for videography, it's now good. So I'm gonna show you how to do it, and it's really easy. Actually, the camera, all you gotta do is remove the five screws that are there, and I'm just gonna fast forward really quick here. So before removing the aperture, aperture ring, be careful with this little ring that is so flimsy and it's just laying there, it will fall off easily. But really just pull out the aperture ring and you are all set. Now there we go, on the lens we can see the culprit that's making all the racket. It's a little tiny ball that rides along all the ridges on the aperture ring. So all we gotta do is remove it, take it off. And there we go, we just declicked our Pentax lens and we have a Cine lens. But you might want to hang on to that ball, put it in a safe place because if you ever want to put the ball back in and have clicks again, then you can do so. But other than that, all you got to do is reverse all the steps. So the aperture ring back in. And make sure when you're putting it back in, have a set. Like for example, I left the lens wide open at f1.4. So when I place when I place the ring, it should be set at f1.4. And looks is all good to go. Now you could finish the steps by putting the mounting plate back on. There you go, that's how you declick your Pentax lens. Now there are a lot of advantages why you want to do this and you could actually hear it. It is silent so you could operate the aperture while filming and there are a lot of advantages why you would want to do that. Now a couple of main reasons why is you could adjust the exposure on the fly without affecting your shooting. And another advantage is that you could actually control how much the viewer sees. Say you have a few piano keys that you want to show at a time or if you want to make it more dramatic and have just one key in focus, you could do that gradually or perhaps you want to just shoot a bouquet and maybe focus on just one flower or right at the same time you could just close the aperture smoothly and focus on the entire bouquet. And another added advantage of declicking your lens is if you have a scene that all of a sudden the light changes or you purposely go from a dark place to a light place, you could actually adjust on the fly manually without interrupting the viewer with, by making noise with your lens or adding any shake by declicking around your aperture. Really awesome trick. I hope you guys enjoyed this DIY. It was a blast doing it myself. And yeah, do it at your own risk though. If you break your lens, don't come to me about it. But it's a really awesome thing to do. You bring more life to these old lenses that are just gathering dust. Now, if you did enjoy this video, uh, hit a thumbs up, like, share. And also, by the way, this entire video was edited in my iPad Pro using the Inlight Video Leap software. So this is a free video editing software that is free with a, a kind of limited version, but it's enough to make this video that you just saw right now. There supports a couple of layers in the free edition. I can do voiceover like I'm doing right now. It's pretty powerful stuff and all the clips were shot with the Sony A7S in S-Log. And I was able to get the contrast and saturation pretty decent. So let me know your comments down below. Now subscribe because I will be making a video in the future. I've been living all life throughout this week using only iOS beta, the 13. That's it. I haven't used Mac or PC, nothing. It's just been straight iOS. Now I'm going to be making a video on that a documentary, you could say, in the future. So stick around. 
and thank you for staying this long i'll see you guys on the next one peace